What's up everybody? This is Josh with Rockstar Vapes. Uh, today we're going to take a look at a piece of hardware for you and it's going to be the Limitless Sleeve Mod from Limitless Mod Company. So we're going to go uh, take a look at some pictures real quick. We're going to go up close. I'll break everything down for you, show you how it works, show you some upgrades that are uh, available for it. And we'll come back up to FaceTime and I'll give you my thoughts on it. Alright, so let's do it. So here we are up close with the Copper Limitless Sleeve Mod from Limitless Mod Company. So I freshly polished this up and cleaned it all up there so it's nice and shiny for its big debut on camera. Hybrid Mod, please, please, please be safe and make sure that your 510 pin extrudes far enough past the shroud of the 510 threading to uh, make connection with the battery and not have the battery shorting out. So please, please practice safety. Um, and excuse my cat. All right, so let's go ahead and break it down. Not a whole lot to it. Uh, button screws off from the bottom. Really, really, really nice threading. Really well done on, uh, on the threading for sure. You know, nice and quiet. I'm going to leave camera frame and go over by my microphone for a second. Just really, really nicely done. Very high quality copper, for sure. Uh, tarnishes up pretty easily, but in my opinion, that's a, uh, a good thing because you can get a nice patina on it. All right, so basically, they call this a sleeve mod because you have this removable sleeve that you can take off your mod and switch out. Uh, like you saw in the pictures, there are a bunch of different options. I really like this one though. And this is the red bandana sleeve. And all those accents are copper, so it matches really well with the copper one. Um, and it's really well done. Like this, this is not doing it justice. I wish this thing would focus properly. As a matter of fact, let me use the manual focus. So you can see just how well this was done. Like look how intricate and just awesome that that is. And I really like the Limitless logo. Like it's just really nicely done. It really is. And the button as well. While we're this far zoomed in, let's check out the button engraving. Really well done. Down there in itty bitty font, you can see USA and some numbers. It's just really, really well done. So while we're here, let's go ahead and look at the button. You can fire it from any spot on the button. Like you could legit take a toothpick and press it up on the very edge in a single fire. Um, not a super long throw, but not a super short throw either. I'd say it's, I mean, it's a little more on the long side, actually, nowadays. Um, but it's very, very smooth, no crunch. You get a little bit of a noise in there, but I think that's just the spring that's currently in here, because there are some options, and we'll talk about that in a second. Now, how you're going to adjust for battery rattle is this Delrin piece right here. To take the switch apart, what you'll do is pull this Delrin out, like so. And you can set that to the side. And then you'll want to press your button in. And then this little piece here screws off. If you can get your big old meaty fingers down in there, like me. So yeah, that piece there will screw off like so. 
And then you'll notice there are grooves in the button housing and grooves in uh, the firing pin that line up. So this guy can never back out on you by spinning. Then there's also grooves on the actual like button part that you press and in the, that part of the housing. So it can't spin, it can't wobble. I mean, there's just the tiniest, tiniest play in it. So it's really well machined, really, really well done. And everything's nice and fat and meaty. The threads are really good on it. The housing is really well made. It's just awesome. The tolerances are like spot on. Uh, this is the stock spring. There you have it. Um, I'd say a medium throw. Definitely not a light throw, but definitely not like a throw like on the rig mod. So I'd say a, a good medium, you know, on the pressure it takes to fire it. Um, so that is a stock spring and the stock copper housing and stock copper button. All right, now there are upgrades to this guy, so let's go ahead and talk about those while we're talking about the button. So you have some options you can get. The first one would be a silver plated spring, and this is what I've been using with my stock copper button. I've been really digging the silver plated spring. The throw I like a little more, it's just a smidge stiffer. Um, and you get a little better conductivity, of course because silver plated. Um, and then you also have a silver plated button. Now I'm not sure what this is plated over. It's definitely not copper because this is way, way lighter than the copper one. So it's definitely not plated over copper. I think if anything, it is silver plated aluminum, aluminum. Um, but we'll talk a little more about the silver plated button during the FaceTime. But there you have it. Basically the same exact thing, but I think it's aluminum with silver plating. So it just feels kind of light, you know. Um, and then you also have an option for gold plated magnets, and they are very strong magnets. Uh, they are indeed, and I did use these for a little while. However, the th throw, I kind of like the silver plated spring better, just my personal preferences, so that's what I was using. But these are also an option and they come from Limitless, they're not an aftermarket. Uh, you know, they're made for this mod. And they got a pretty good amount of resistance. Um, but, you know, so you have options, options with this guy. So you can customize the throw to your liking. Uh, so we'll set this stuff to the side. I'm gonna put the silver plated everything in it. So to put all this back together, you've got your button, you got your spring, you line this up here, and then you will thread this on. Now I have noticed putting on, putting this ring on with the silver plated pin uh, was a little bit of a pain in the butt the first few times. And it still is if I don't put this nut, if you will, on a certain direction. Although with the copper, it just is easy as day. Or as easy as pot. Easy. It's just easy. But with this thing, I have to fight it. And now I'm off camera. So I think that possibly the silver plating is a little bit thick. So that can be an issue. So, after quite a bit of effort, there you have it. The silver plated button in the copper house with the silver plated spring. We screw our Delrin piece back in, and I know that my batteries have been happy right about there. So then we'll talk about this 510 connection just a little bit. Now, uh, this part up here at the top of the bevel is 22 millimeters. So your Addies will look good uh, with the bevel, although some of you may not like the look that you achieve, and we'll talk about that in just a second. Um, you also got vent holes here. And if you were still using a tank that gets its air from the bottom, this would work for you, although I don't know why you would be doing that. Um, but 
nice big fat channels for airflow and for ventilation. Uh, like if your battery vents or something, this thing has more than enough ventilation for sure. So, uh, and I really like that it's all one solid piece of copper. The top cap is not separate, like something like the uh, 4.9 for instance. Um, the threading is all really good. Nice thick copper throughout. I uh, got a little bit of a film. That white stuff is Brasso. So let me wipe that out real quick. All right, there we go. White stuff gone. Um, so yeah, the threading's all really good, and I really like that it's all one solid piece for better conductivity. Because uh, you know, the more pieces you have, the less conductive something's gonna be. So um, overall, it's really nicely made. It really, really is. Uh, one thing to watch out for, and we'll talk about this more in the cons, uh, you take your your button off to put your battery in, right? And then, like most other mods, you just hold it by the sleeve. Well, there goes your, your tube onto the ground. So you have to remember to hold it, like, you know, full-handed or something, so that way you don't... Oops. And then this drops onto the ground with your Goliath or something, or your glass tank on it, and then it breaks because you're used to a mod staying all in one piece. Um, oh, there's no play in it really once it's on there, so I like that. But uh, yeah, we'll talk a little more about that right there when we go up to face stuff. So um, let me throw this uh, beautiful Arctic on here. And this one is borderline as far as the 510. Like this is probably not the best idea in the world to use this on here. Um, but it's been working okay for me. Uh, just make sure that with any hybrid mod that your 510 pin sticks out nice and far. Um, and always use safe Bob's Burgers batteries. Always. Because Bob knows how to make some good batteries. I mean, look at him. That's a face I trust. Oh, but legit, though, this is a VTC5 that I rewrapped with some clear battery wraps from Kidney Punter. Pretty awesome. Although Nova Vapors has these as well. Uh, they were just out at the time, and I had to order something from Kidney Puncher anyways for Mr. Clive, so I ordered some clear battery wraps, and now I have Bob's Burgers batteries. All right, so throw that in. Tighten up this. A little bit too much Delrin sticking out, so we'll adjust our Delrin in a little bit. And there you have it. And then your button holds the sleeve in place so it can't roll around. And there you have it. Shrucking right along. And now that the battery's in, you can really see what the throw is actually like. Alright, so that's it. I'll see y'all up in uh, FaceTime. Alright, uh, a major, major thanks to Nova Vapors for uh, letting me use this to review. Uh, it's been really, really awesome. I've really been enjoying using it. There are a couple little cons that we're going to talk about. Um, but these are available from Nova Vapors. Those pictures you saw were taken at Nova Vapor, so they have plenty of different sleeve options. They have the aluminum ones, the brass ones, the copper ones, all the different s sleeves. They have all those, the silver plated springs, the gold plated magnets, the silver plated buttons, all that good stuff. So you can get your limitless sleeve mod, a couple different sleeves, your upgrades if you want them, etc. All from Nova Vapors. You can check out their website below, Facebook below, phone number below. Definitely give them a shot. You can go to the Limitless Mod Company page and purchase these directly from Limitless, I believe. Um, but if you go through Nova Vapors, you're supporting small business. Great shop, great owners. Mr. Buckley, Miss Desiree, Mr. Rob, the manager, Mr. Brian, the assistant manager. All really cool people. Uh, so I would highly suggest if you want one of these and they have the sleeve and the body you want in stock, go ahead and purchase them from Nova Vapors. Then you're still supporting Limitless and you're supporting an awesome vape shop in Clarksville. If you're ever in the Clarksville area, definitely stop and check them out. So, let's go ahead and talk some more about this mod. Um, so the aluminum one is gonna be $79.99 at Nova. 
The brass one is $119.99, and the copper one is $154.99. I know that's pretty expensive, but that aluminum one and the brass one are very reasonable. The copper one is borderline expensive, um, but it is really nice. It's really, really nice, really well made, made in America, very unique. I really love mine. It is awesome. It's been treating me really, really well. Um, now at Nova, that price does include one sleeve of your choice. So let's say you wanted the copper one with the purple sleeve, that'd be $154.99. Uh, the brass one with the, uh, the skull sleeve, the green skulls that you saw there, which I think is pretty cool, um, it'd be $119.99. Now, extra sleeves. You can buy more than one sleeve, so you can swap it out, change it out with your Addies, etc. Uh, those sleeves are $29.99. Um, now, the gold-plated magnets, that's going to set you back $8.99. The silver-plated spring is going to set you back $8.99. And the silver-plated button is $34.99. They are awfully proud of that button. Um, I think all the other prices, except for the silver-plated button, are all nicely in line. Now, this is absolutely nothing against Nova. Nova has to sell it for what the manufacturer suggested retail price is. You know, they're a business. They have to make money. I think that's a little overboard on Limitless's end. You know, I get it. It is silver, but it's like, I feel like it's plated over aluminum. I just feel like that $34.99 is a smidge high. Now, if it were $24.99, all good with that. I just think it's a little bit high for what it is. Um, so those are the prices. Now my two cons for this device. One is that sleeve does not lock in place. So if you go to take your take your button off and then you're going to replace your battery, that's not that's not great. Um, and I understand that you know you want it to be able to rotate so you can match it up with the logos on your Addy, etc. But you know that's that's not the safest in the world until you're used to it, I guess. You know, you could end up breaking an Addy, cracking some plastic or some glass, or denting your drip tip, etc. So, it would be really cool if there was a way that that clicked in, or maybe a couple, like an O-ring there and an O-ring there, so that way once you pressed it in, you could still rotate it, but it wouldn't just easily slide off. That's kind of a con for me, that, that can just easily, you know, do that number. You know, you go to move your battery out, and boom, you lose your mind. Um... So, I would like to see some O-rings there, or uh, it would probably be pretty hard to do. Maybe a little ball bearing of some sort where it could click into place. I don't know. Um, at least some O-rings, for sure. For sure. Um, and then one other small con, which might not be a big problem for other people. It could be, depending on how you like to fire it. But this corner, this edge here... It's pretty sharp. It's not really the most comfortable unless you do the old vaping V Cali claw. Um, then it's not a problem. And if you put your knuckle in there just right, it's not a problem. But, you know, if you like to fire a certain way, it's kind of uncomfortable. So I would have liked to have seen that little edge beveled. But that's really it. That one's kind of subjective. The sleeve sliding on and off so easily isn't so subjective. I think that was a minor design flaw. But it almost makes up for it in just how pretty it is. Like every time I pick it up, I'm just like, wow. Those are some awesome designs. At least for the bandana sleeves. I really, really like the bandana sleeves a lot. Um... It's super smooth. It was machined really, really well. It was really clean. I mean, it was free of any machine oil when I got it. It was a little tarnished, of course, because it's copper. But, you know, the throw is awesome, especially because you can tune it how you want it with the different spring choices or the magnets. Um, all the threads are just buttery smooth and flawlessly machined. The performance is awesome, exactly what you would expect from an all-copper mod. I mean, of course, I've got the silver spring and the silver pin in there now. I don't know how much of a difference that makes. I think the, the silver-plated spring is a definite upgrade from the stock spring, so that's $9 I would not feel bad about dropping. However, $35 for the silver-plated button, eh, I probably wouldn't go for that. Me, personally. 
Some people are going to think it makes a big difference. Some people aren't. Just depends on your style of vaping. Um, for me, I don't go real, real low anyways. So I don't think that that silver plated button is going to make enough of a difference for me to purchase one. Uh, the rest of the mod though, in the spring, I would absolutely purchase one. And I would definitely go with the copper just because of the conductivity and how nice it looks with that red bandana sleeve with the copper accents. Love it, love it, love it. Um, yeah, that that's probably about it for me and the Limitless Sleeve mod. Uh, please go check out Nova Vapors. Go leave them a like. Go by and send them a Facebook message or post to their page. Tell them that you saw the review, even if you don't plan on purchasing one. That way they know that these are being watched and people are seeing these videos so we can continue to get some products to review for you. Now, I'm not keeping this product. This is going back to them. I had it on loan. Um, so it's not like I'm profiting from this in any way, shape, or form. Maybe a couple bucks from the YouTube monetization. But, you know, I just like using new stuff and telling you all about it. Um, so, big thanks again to Nova Vapors and the crew over there uh, for this Limitless Sleeve mod. Big props to the Limitless Mod Company for designing such a beautiful device. However, I would like to see some O-rings added under that sleeve and maybe a little bit of a bevel on the button. So if you do a version 2 Limitless, maybe consider that, maybe don't. Totally up to you. Although I do think the O-rings to hold that sleeve in place would be a really good idea. Um, yeah, so again, links will be below. If you want to purchase one of these, you can definitely do so from Nova Vapors. Highly suggest you check them out. Swing by their Facebook page, leave them a like, post to the page maybe, say, you know, hey, thanks for letting Rockstar Vapes review the Limitless. Uh, I'd appreciate that. I'm sure they would appreciate it as well. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I truly appreciate it. Thanks for joining me, spending your time here with me in the Rockstar Vape Studio. Listen to me ramble on about all this awesome vape gear. Uh, leave me a comment below. Shoot me an email. There will be links to all of our social media stuff like Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and all that below. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Remember, to vape like a rock star. Take it easy, everybody.